Hi everybody, it's Jeff Spock from Amplitude Studios back with another focus video. This time it's about the Endless Legend Shadows expansion pack we're going to be putting out. There's a lot of great stuff in here. Uh, a lot of gameplay around espionage, pillaging, sabotage, assassination, all these really fun things. And in particular, a ninth faction, the new faction, the Forgotten, who's particularly good at this gameplay. Okay, the first thing about the Forgotten is that they can't use science. They don't have science. If they look at the tiles on the, on the, on the map, there's no science there. If you want to know why, we'll explain that in another video, which we focus on the lore and the background of the Forgotten. So how do they get science? Well, they either buy it or they can steal it. Now that's unique to the Forgotten faction. Other gameplay that's very interesting for the Forgotten is they can have invisible armies on the map. No matter what terrain they're on, their armies can be completely invisible. Other factions can camouflage, which means they can have invisible armies, but only in forest tiles. For the Forgotten, it's anywhere. Okay, so that's kind of exciting. Forgotten also have dual wield units. The first units we have in the game with two weapons. So that's how they're a lot of fun to play, a lot of fun to look at on the battle map. Now sort of the feeling that we want to bring out in the players when they're playing this new expansion is paranoia. Uh, because there's going to be a lot of gameplay where you're clicking on kind of, you know, looking over your shoulder at what the other guy's doing. You're going to have to start watching what's happening in your regions, in your cities, because there's going to be a lot of things going on. Um, for instance, an enemy army comes to your borders. Maybe it's invisible. All of a sudden you think, gee, my extractors aren't giving me you know, resources anymore. Or all of a sudden you'll notice one of your watchtower suddenly isn't lighting up the map anymore. Okay, that's this game action called pillaging. It can be done on watchtowers, on resource extractors, and even on the minor villages that have been uh, pacified and rebuilt. Uh, in each case you get some loot, for instance, in the case of the extractors, you get the minerals, go back to your empire instead of the enemy empire. Uh, and it's, you know, it's just one of these things that's going to make players start being really careful and really nervous about what's happening. Okay, so you have this army of yours going through enemy territory. You find this really nice looking city, so you put a hero in it, all right? The espionage gameplay is very hero-based gameplay. All of a sudden, you can see that city like it was your own. I mean, obviously, you can't control it like it's your own city, but you see the city information map. So you know what they're building, you know what units they have there. You get a lot of information on these guys. So what can the spy start doing? Well, that's where it gets really fun. Let's say if this guy's an enemy, somebody you're at war with, you can start decreasing the fortifications. Uh, you can disable the governor, you know, like he's being poisoned. You can... Uh, kill off some of the population. Why not? You can, re you can decrease the production. If they're trying to build units to counter you, you can sabotage that. So there's lots of really fun gameplay things like this. You can decrease the vision so your armies will get closer to their city and they won't know you're there un until you attack. So all kind of, that's, that's only maybe about a third of what you can do with the, with the new espionage uh, gameplay stuff. So that's a lot of fun. Hopefully that'll make you very paranoid and uh, your friends as well while you're playing this. If you don't have that many heroes, if you're not so good at spying, you're not alone, it's okay. Of course, we give you a lot of counter espionage tools as well. In fact, there's a lot more I haven't mentioned that's in the expansion pack as far as uh, buildings, technologies, improvements. There's items, there's hero skills, there's lots of things to do all around this kind of gameplay. So we hope you go out there and have a really fun and paranoid time with it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them here. Check the link below. Uh, if you want more information, go visit our website. Um, we're really happy with the expansion. We hope you guys like it. Uh, and don't forget to check out the other video on the Forgotten and their lore. So, thanks very much. This is Jeff Spock for Amplitude Studios. Thanks for watching.